Hello everyone, this is Helen H and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I have a really fun project today, thanks to Carol, the lovely Carol from Recrafted by Carol. I was inspired by a video that she did um, a couple days ago and I put her channel link and then the link to the actual video that inspired me. It was a design team project that she had done and it was making ephemera holders out of envelopes, out of like um, this kind of, well not this particular uh, type of envelope, but not a letter envelope, although you could use it for, you could use any kinds of envelope. So I, I just have these, um, these are just the uh, brown craft uh, ones with the reusable uh, tab, but you don't need that, that's, that's irrelevant. Just some kinds of envelopes is all you need. This is just what I had handy. And so basically, um, I'm gonna get started. This is gonna be at least a two part uh, video because I don't want to make e either one too long. So basically, if I remember correctly, you don't need this flap here, this closure flap, you don't need that. And I believe what Carol did was she reinforced it uh, or, or went ahead and glued it inside to reinforce the top of the envelope. And so I can just do that same thing here, just to go ahead and glue that inside to make the top part here, you know, a little more reinforced like that, okay? And I will do that. You need two, uh, well, okay, I'm gonna say, the one I'm making uses two envelope. She did do one that had multiple envelopes glued together, but I'm not gonna go into that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the two because I'm not actually gonna use it the way she did. I was just super inspired by what she had done. And so there, I've just glued those, um, glued the insides in so that this lip up here is fairly strong. Now, this right here um, is a, a, a kind of a hindrance, but I think it goes all the way through. It does go all the way through. I've not tried to remove one of these. Let me see if I can do that. I might, I might ruin the envelope and have to do another one, but oh no, okay, if you're careful, you can remove these. They're just kind of, actually, it's just like a little staple is what it's like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that out like that, just because I don't want this so bumpy. And like I said, it's, it's not, going to be used in any way for the project that I'm making and uh, the project she did uh, with hers, it's the ephemera holder, it's, it w wasn't necessary either. So it's just because this happens to be the kind of envelope, these are jot envelopes and you can get these at Dollar Tree. I think it's six for a dollar twenty-five. Okay, so I've taken it off and yes, it looks rough, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna cover that up. So what I'm going to do, I have to think about this. Okay, I'm going to glue these together because what I'm going to do with my two envelopes and this this here where it, you see where it's lower here, I want that because I am going to, I'm just gluing this down where I pulled it up. Um, I probably have to do this side too. I want that because I'm, that's, I'm going to store stuff in the envelopes but it's not going to be an ephemera holder. What I actually think I'm going to use, make out of this is a journal cover. And this will be the inside cover and this will be the back inside cover and the inside covers will have pockets. So this is just gonna be a real junky kind of journal here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some masking tape and this, I believe this is what she used too was to use some masking tape to connect your envelopes together. And if I'm not mistaken, now I watched another video with someone doing something else, and I'm, I'm not sure in my mind if I'm confusing what the other person did and what Carol did, but go ahead and watch Carol's video, and it's, it's very self-instructive. Now, if I can get this off my finger, it would be in good shape here. Stop, stop, let go. Very sticky. This tape also came from Dollar Tree. This is just their regular uh, masking tape. This isn't the wide. I was like toying with myself. Should I get the wide or should I just get the regular? And I just decided to get the regular. Okay, so I tore that about the size of the envelope. Actually, I tore it a little bit short, but it's no, no biggie. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and try to stick the envelope as best I can down onto the tape like that. And in my case, it's not a biggie that it doesn't go top to bottom, okay? And you'll see why. Okay, so then I'm going to take the other side, and I think you want to leave a tiny little bit so that the, that um, you can close the envelope. You know when you make a, a journal out of cardboard or something, you have to leave that little gap, tiny little gap, so that it will close properly. So I have that tiny little gap there like that, okay? So there's basically the way my covers for my journal are going to be, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and reinforce this again and I'm going to do my best to just come straight down on this and I know I realize I have cut too much tape I'll, I'll trim it off because I, I actually what I'm going to do since I'm reinforcing and I know I'm going off the bottom here move this stuff to the side here come up here so you can see I am going to actually cut it a little bit longer oh my goodness this tape is so sticky <laughs> great tape by the way okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and come around and then I can catch these little areas where this other tape was a little bit too short at this point it's all about just reinforcing this spine okay because I'm gonna do some kind of uh, sewn uh, spine here whether it's gonna be um, five hole probably a five hole so I also have this piece of scrap paper here and this is just some script on one side and smaller script on the other. And I think I'm going to also use this to, um, to bulk up the spine a little bit because I don't trust sewing just through um, masking tape. So I want to go ahead and make a mark here at the bottom. And I'm going to just cut that off and I'm going to glue this on the sides too. And then we're going to have some... Uh, play where we're just gonna go wild with some collaging so while I'm gluing this on I'm gonna tell you this morning <clears throat> my friend and I at the cabin we went and did our Friday morning rounds our errands we had our coffee at the coffee shop and then we went to the library I dropped off my little piece of mini art which was my last video and the librarians loved it I'm happy to say because I was a little bit iffy about it like is this going to be good enough and whatever they really loved it so that got dropped off and then we had to run some other errands also which we did and um Anyway, so, okay, so I'm going to do like this, and this paper here is purely to reinforce. It was a scrap that I had from um, the my uh, strip journal. I have that that with me. My, I haven't worked on it for a while, but I, I usually bring that with me because that's an easy thing if I need to work on something. Um, so this was just a, a leftover piece of, of, of paper it really is not big enough or wide enough that any of the good um, script shows. So that's why I just said I'll just go ahead and sacrifice this piece to use to reinforce the uh, binding here. And I'm just going to glue this all down. And this will be fine. And I don't know, but I have a feeling probably when I'm done with this journal, which probably will be part two or part three, we'll see how long it takes me to do it, I might even put fabric over it, uh, like bind it, and then put fabric over it. So here we go. Here we've got our book cover, okay, like this. So what I did was we had Fiber Group on Tuesday and uh, Fiber Arts Group. And as you know, I don't do Fiber Arts. Crochet just wasn't for me. So I use do paper arts. Well, what I decided to do, one of the lovely ladies at the group gifted me a couple of these arts and antiques, art and antiques magazines. And I cut up this one mostly, but these magazines, if you can ever get these at a library or something, look at this. They have, oh wow, I did cut a lot more. Look at all this fodder here. Um, great pictures, like great images and stuff that you can use for art, you know, for making your art. I actually really love this one uh, right here. I think this is fabulous. Um, now I'm thinking, do I even just want to make that the cover? Uh, uh, what to do, what to do, because I really like that. 
it's not big enough to go all the way around and come around. No, it's not. Um, no, I'm going to go with my original idea, which was just to kind of piece things together. And see, like in that art magazine, there's like fine art too, where you get these cute pictures. I'm not using that on this, but some really pretty pictures. It's not all abstract art. See, aren't those lovely? Um, and But what I decided to do was to cut out a lot of the... Um, and look at her. She's pretty. She would almost be cute on the side of this. Look how pretty that is. But anyway, um, I really cut out a lot of the ones that are more just colors like this because that's really what I wanted to do. I really wanted to make this very playful and just use some of... I guess this is called abstract art. So let's just pick out, I have a bunch of this stuff. And maybe I can even just tear a piece of this or cut a piece of this uh, also and use a piece of this because this is cool. Maybe I could use a piece on the front and the back. So let me just cut this and see what we can got going here. But it, the magazine is art, Arts and Antiques because I was looking at it and I was like, why are there so many pictures of furniture and stuff in there? And then I looked at it and I realized, okay, because it says arts and antiques. It's not just arts. But any kind of art magazine like this is really cool to, um, to use uh, for collage or whatever. So maybe something like that. And then I need a piece. I love this. Look, this is a rug. That would be kind of cool right in the middle, wouldn't it? Okay, we, we're going to put that one to the side. I'm going to put that over there. Let's see here. I know I have tons more of just colored pieces here. That's nice, too. That's the Indian Chief. I like that one. Uh, okay, here's another piece that is just color. But you know what? That's kind of dark here. So do I have a piece of abstract that's kind of dark that I could just put in this bottom corner here? Let's see what I got. I've got this one. This is a... Uh, this is kind of dark. Maybe I'll use a piece of this. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do is, let me think about this. Does that go over that one? All right, let me just get some down so that I can, I'm going to put those there. Those are the ones I think I'll use on the cover. And we're just going to get some down, right? Okay. So, yes, yeah, so we went to out and ran our errands. That was super fun. So while we were out there, I said, let's... She, my friend had, I had asked her if she knew any place where I could forage some more golden rod. And she gave me some ideas. So she, we went out and we looked at where she said. And they're a possibility, but we actually found an, a better place. So this afternoon, uh, Mr. Moss Cottage and I will be going to town because we will be going to the little pop-up cafe that the Hungarian woman runs. And we're going to go there and probably to the farmer's market. So... We will, I told him, I, I, I know where I can get some more goldenrod. And I purely want to get that to, um, now this was the piece I was going to put over there, but I want to put this piece down first. I don't know why. I mean, that, that makes me happy. Just colors like that. Just, I love that. That somebody had a good time making that. I don't, like, understand it. And I'm, I'm not like, oh, you know, I, I, I just think the colors are fun. And I could understand making... Now, if someone said, oh, yeah, that's, like, supposed to be, like, the inner workings of somebody's mind or something, I'd be like, what, whatever. I just think the colors are fun, right? I'm, I'm not that, that uh, deep into art that, you know, other than it's fun. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so this afternoon I hope to go get some more goldenrod. Now, this was the piece... Was I going to... Where's the other piece I had? That one... Or was it this one? Now I forgot what I was going to use. I think it was this one, right? Well, let's use this one. What was I going to put on? I thought I was going to maybe put the rug in the middle, right? Well, it doesn't matter. Don't pick a focal point, Helen. Just get on with it. So let's use this one. But what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to tear it. And, of course, I tore it the wrong way so that the white shows, which I did not want. And it's, my fingers are sticky, and it's very hard to tear this paper this way. So I'm making a real meal of this. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, get off my fingers. You know what? I need it. I need one of these. I've used glue for, for like 15 seconds. I need to have a wet wipe or 10. However, my knife just pulled out. Okay. 
So I like the torn edges. You know, it's nice to keep the straight up against the edge because it just makes it easier to glue. Of course, you can go all the way around, and I might end up inking the edges. I don't know, but I do want to ink this bottom piece right here where I tore it the wrong way. There's something about if you tear it towards you, you get one thing, and if you tear it away from you, you get another. Um, yeah, whatever. I just tear, and then I change direction if I don't like it. Okay, so we're going to do this. So I hope you all are, are going to have a wonderful weekend. I hope you have lots of fun plans. The mo Like here where I am in the Virginia Highlands, the weather is just beautiful. Now, it is getting very much like fall. Yesterday, I had a get-together. We Well, Mr. H and I had a get-together for some of our mountain neighbors yesterday evening. And when they left, it was really chilly. And two of them came on their ATVs. And I'm like, yeah, okay, good for you. You get to drive back. But, but they're my two closest. They're both equal distance, one up, one down the mountain, about a quarter, quarter of a mile. Okay, I think that's the same as that. I don't want that. I want the different one. I want this one then. Yeah, and I want it different. I want it, it's gotta be like that. I think this is actually trees, so let's try to have them at least upright, Helen. Anyway, so um, yeah, it was really cold. So when I got up this morning, see, I just tore that again the wrong way, so I've got to, got to ink the edges. Um, it was 44. Uh, when we got up and usually when I get up in the morning, I get up about 630. I get up before Mr. Moss Cottage gets up and um, I feed Holly and then um, I have my quiet time and um, She wants when we're here at the cabin She just wants to go out like after she eats the first thing she wants to do is go on the front porch and check her kingdom or queendom or whatever and um this morning, <laughs> where did I put my, oh, there it is. I was like, oh, where's my paper cutter? It's right there. I let her out this morning, and she was out for like a minute. And she's like, okay, it's too cold. She came running back in. I'm like, okay, I understand that because I didn't want to leave the door open. We have to usually leave the door open from her. And I do sit with a blanket <clears throat> on me when it's chilly and the door is open when I'm doing my quiet time. But um, it was even too too chilly to do that okay i like that i like that with the pop of colors but i'm thinking now this is probably a little bit too dark as a focal point so i might just find something else that's a little bit uh lighter for the focal point but i'm going to go ahead and glue this one and stick it on see i mean this is how easy it is to make a journal right but or if if you don't put the paper in you know it can just be an ephemera holder um like i said watch carol's video and you will see. And the funny thing is, I think it was this video. Carol, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think when she was making her demo in her video, she used a map of where she, near where she lives, or where she lives, the area in England where she lives. And it's the same county where I was born. I was actually born in England. I lived there till I was four, and then we immigrated to the States. I like that. Look how fun that is, right? And this is just pieces of, you know, magazine. So let's go ahead and work on the back, uh, the back cover, and we'll do some more chit chat here. Um, this is a pink tree. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Let's go. Okay, tear. No, this way. Okay, so if you tear towards you, you don't get the white line. Tearing towards you, you don't get the white line. Okay, so we got that. And then what else do we got? Well, you know what? I can use some of the tear towards you, Helen. Okay, why did I get the white line? Okay, I don't know. Um, I think I want to use some of the same and some difference. Um, tear it toward... Am I tearing it toward me? No, tear it away from you and you don't get the white line. Tear it away from you. Good night. You would think... <laughs> okay, what if I put that one there and this one has to go down here? Because I'm trying to balance the color with away from you away from you that's that way that way okay all right um what was i talking about oh my gosh that completely went out of my head whatever it was that it's cold yeah it is cold up here um we actually did have to turn on the heat last night 
I was fine. We watched, Mr. Moss and I watched a lovely documentary on Dolly Parton last night on Netflix. And I think it's only running... Oh gosh, it's it's not going to be running for long. I think till October 8th maybe. So if you're interested in the Dolly Parton documentary, it was very, very good. I really didn't know anything, not that much about her. And I'm not a country music fan, but it was very interesting. Uh, anyway, so it was fine watching TV because we're, we're on the couch bundled up with blankets. And I usually have Holly all up in my business keeping me hot and warm and whatever. But we decided before I went to bed that we had turned the heat on because I get up at 6.30 in the morning and it's still dark and with no heat on overnight and it going down in the 40s like that. It was a little chill this morning. So, but I'm sad because I really don't like having the heat on. Um, I just prefer when I'm up here to have the windows open and... Um, you know, the, the, the breeze coming through. Okay. This one. This, I think, is a little bit too bright when I'm looking at the front here. This one should be okay. It's actually quite dark, but I think it would be okay. I'm tearing away from me. Yes, I am. Okay. Now, I'm just looking at the front. I had... That. Do I have any more of those? I've, I love this Indian, but I don't want to cut. I love the colors on this. I would love to cut that up, but I here I've got this one. And I'm tearing away from me that way. But see, I did have a white edge, but obviously not on that side. You know what? With this piece of art, who cares? Because you don't know which is the front and the back, right? But I have to do it again. I'm tearing away. Oh, Okay, now this time when it's tearing toward, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all yeah, figure that out. You, you probably have it figured out for yourself anyway, right? Now, I'm wondering, are these two, are these three the same? Too much the same? What if I put that one there? And that one there. No, because those two are two, the same. I can't, I don't want to do that. No, we'll just go with it the way it was, right? How was it? <laughs> Oh my goodness, was it like this? Something like that? I don't know. We're going to go with that. We're good. We're just going to go with that. All right. So what goes down first is this tree, this one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Carol's video. Look, watch hers. Now, she used, like, because she did this as a design project, she used on the one she shows first, she used really pretty... Um, I, get, I think it was printables that she used. But, you know, you can use whatever you have on hand. And since I was gifted these lovely magazines, um, always, always check your library. It's It could be such a resource for things that you don't know. And, you know, oh, so talking about the library. In a couple weeks is the Hands and Harvest Festival up here. And um, it is all about uh, apples and uh, things like that because the harvest up in the mountains. And it is, uh, the hands part is arts and crafts, mountain arts and crafts and other things. And it's a wonderful, wonderful weekend. There's so much going on. It's so, it's very, very fun. So um, we will be coming up for that. But the best thing, and my first ever stop, because it starts on Friday afternoon. We usually come up like on a Friday. Well, I told my husband, not this time. He's going to have to take the day off. And where are the pieces I was going to use? And uh, we're going to... I'm just trying to figure out which way I want it. I think I want it that way. Um, we're going to come up on Thursday because Friday is starting at 12 noon is the library's book annual book sale and I'm so excited because that last year I got so many good books 
Um, they People donate books all year long for this book sale, and you can get all kinds of wonderful things. But if you know if you're not like into art, you know, or cutting up the books or, or magazines, because they do have magazines too. They have uh, books to you know if you want books to read or stuff, you can get those cheap too. But they also have now. Where's the other piece? That was this one, right? Um, they also have. Um, Puzzles, games, I'm trying to think from last year. They had puzzles, uh, you know, uh, picture puzzles. They had game, board games, uh, cookbooks, you name it. And it's just, oh my gosh, it's my favorite thing. So the first thing we're going to do that weekend, Mr. Moss Cottage and I, is go to the book sale he, he looks, but he's not that interested. I have to look at every section because, you know, there's books for tearing apart in every, every section. And the books are cheap, too. So, um, anyway, um, he is my, my rock because he's the one that holds all the books when I get them. I'm like, here, go hold this, hold this, hold this, because I usually get so many. I can't hold them and then look through all of them. Okay, look how cute this is so far. Where are we? 26 minutes. Okay, I've already gone over time. I'm going to have to edit this. Look how cute this is just from this. And let me tell you, this has made this nice and sturdy. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more. We may not finish the whole inside, but let's go ahead and get working on the inside a little bit too. And um, then I'll do part two will be to um, maybe put the papers in or something, right? So I'm just going to go on and, and piece together some more of this. And I'm not, okay, that Indian keeps distracting me because I keep thinking, oh, that's great, but I don't want to cut him up. Here's a little piece. Maybe I can use that somewhere. We'll see. Uh, what else do I have? I guess it doesn't all have to be the same, right? It can be whatever. Look at this. This is cool piece. This guy with an umbrella, and it looks like he's looking at books or something. I'm not sure what he's looking at, but that's pretty cool. You know what? I like the color, but he's kind of fun too, right? Let's put him on the inside here. Let's move that. Let's put him on the inside of the cover. But I feel like maybe I don't want him there. Maybe I want him down here. For some reason, I like him down on the ground better than floating up in the air. Let's go ahead and put him this like this. That's easy enough, right? Okay. All right, that's good. So, yeah, so if you have magazines that have, like, um, architecture, you could do this with architectural pictures, or I'm thinking of, like, the... Um, HTV magazines or something like that. You could do like chairs or, you know, home decor that you like or, you know, like boho decor or something like that. Okay, now I have to be careful here because, all right, you just glued that piece, but you need, I need to cut. See, this is rounded and I need to keep it rounded so I can keep that as a pocket. So what I need to do, let me see, this is going to be trial and error. You're going to witness the pain of this here. Let's see here. So what I need to do, I'm going to have to turn this sideways, sorry. This has to go this way. I need to just kind of cut the best I can around here where I think the magazine, uh, the envelope is like that so that I can keep this, oops, keep this pocket, right? And I can feel I did not cut low enough. This is a little bit iffy how to do this part here. If you can think of a better way, do it your way, not my way. I'm actually going to have to turn it this way so I can see inside. See what I'm doing? I'm looking at this here. I need to just real quickly cut this. Uh, it's not so bad going this way. So, so even if you cover the whole thing, that's fine. Then just go this way and cut there. And that's absolutely flush. That's absolutely flush. Now, I... Did I pull it up? No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, Helen. Where's the other piece I was going to use? See, this is the problem. Is it this piece? I think, was it this piece? That's cute, but that's not long enough. Okay, I think it was this piece. So what I want to do, though, is I don't want to have the 
the center fold where I'm going to be binding it too bulky. So I want to be able to butt this right up to it without going over, you know, where the crease is. Um, because remember, I've got the paper on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on and I'm going to be careful about gluing up here. What I think I might do is just go ahead and glue down here. See, I'm just thinking this up as I'm going along here because I just took that idea from um, Carol and, and adapting it. See, now I'm going to glue here so that I know I'm gluing where I should be gluing, right? Okay, so I'm taking that up to the crease but not going over the crease and do like that. Okay, and hopefully that leaves me enough room for the guy with the umbrella. Okay, let me open my envelope here. I know this is very hard for you and you may not even be able to see that I'm cutting this right here. But if you're doing this like from my angle, it's very easy to see and very easy to cut right along that envelope line. So it's not like it looks like it looks worse than it is. Let's put it that way. It looks more difficult than it actually is. Okay, there we go. Look at that. See, that's nice and neat. I like that. So this is the pocket on the inside of the cover, right? So here's our guy with his books. And it looks like books. I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be. But we're going to go ahead and butt him all the way to the edge. And then where did my pencil go? Oh, gosh. I had it. Did I put it back? No, of course not. There it is. Okay. Oh, this is going to be tricky because this is black. Can I see my pencil mark? Okay, it's right on that side of the X there. Oops. I have about the side. I have... A tiny desk so that doesn't make it easy to work with this and I have this cool little strip of paper which I'm gonna keep because that is just awesome and I didn't I honestly I didn't even read about the artist I didn't read about the art I was just at the fiber group cutting out pictures for color and pictures I liked so um, but like there's a lot of jewelry, see that big ring there, things like that. So these, like I said, these art magazines, a lot of times people are not interested in them and you can get them at library sales or whatever, but they're great for fodder. If you don't like the whole picture, just take the parts you like, like the background or something. Um, okay. Okie dokie. That is good. That is good right there. I'm just looking at my edge here. I might have a tiny bit where I came over. Just a hair. Okay. Nobody cares anyway. Oh my gosh. I'm loving this. Look at this. And this, this now is super strong. And when you start putting stuff in there, so this is a good ephemera holder if you want to make it an ephemera holder. See, and then you could go ahead and take another envelope and, and um, tape it there. The only thing is you're not going to be able to fold them in and in, I don't think, because they're all the same size. And if you cut the sides of your, side of your envelope, obviously you're going to open it. So what's going to happen is it's going to have to fold this way and then back more like an S right going back and forth like up and down like this instead of just flapping that in it would have to the next one would have to fold that way if that makes any sense but i think carol does that on her uh video so all right one more and then i'm gonna quit i love this can you see this look it's just colors right oh my goodness love it love it and these are just pieces of look birdie look Birdie has, I think, Birdie, don't you have, do you have a dachshund? Oh no, maybe it's not you. You might not have a dachshund. I don't remember. Krista, if you're watching, I know you have a dachshund, right? Is it you I'm thinking of that has the dachshund, not Birdie? Um, I don't know. Birdie, do you have a dachshund? I know you've got the white dog, but do you also have a wiener dog? I can't remember. All right, so here we've got this piece here. So let's go ahead and use a piece of this. And I'm tearing it away from me. Okay, that worked. So I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna, 
I'm going to be quick. I'm just, now what happened? Okay, this piece for sure, because I love that piece. Okay. And so I'm putting four pieces down. Let's use this colorful piece because we like that one too. And one more. I need one down here. He might go on the cover. Look at him. It's a pretty bird in like a wood frame. And yes, that came from this magazine too. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a thinner... Sh Ooh, what about this? Ooh, that'll work. Look at this. Now, isn't that cool? I love it. I love it. Guys, get some of these art magazines. I'm so, so thankful that that lady... Well, somebody, she, okay, so this lady at the art, oh, okay, now i got to deal with this, so i got to be careful. I only want to glue the bottom of this piece and then the top of the envelopes, because I, remember, I need to cut that to, to match that. Anyway, the, it's a, a, a lady from the fiber group. She used to do collage, and she doesn't do collage anymore. Um, I, I forgot why she said she doesn't do collage anymore, but she doesn't. So another friend who knew she did collage asked her if she wanted these magazines. And she told them no, she didn't because she wasn't doing collage anymore. Well, then at the art group, she saw me cutting out paper. And she's like, what are you doing that for? And I said, oh, well, I do collage. And she's like, oh. she said, I was just offered some art magazines. Would you be interested if I can reconnect with the lady? Would you want them? And I said, absolutely, that would be nice. So she did. She got got the lady. The lady also comes to Fiber Group. And the lady came and brought me the magazines like the next time I was there. And I thought that was really nice. Okay, so there we go. Now I think, do I have one little piece where I've gone over here, I need to trim just a little bit more. If you trim a little bit of your envelope, it's not the end of the world either, right? Okay, so there's that piece. And now I'm going to put this piece down because I want these two to kind of be highlighted. Even though they've got, well, they do have squared edges. No, okay, so let's see. This piece goes on next. I'm going to put this one down and put the torn edge over it, just because I want to be a little bit consistent with it. I hope you can see. I get to talking and I don't look up at my, my uh, camera monitor sometimes. Okay, so then this one's going down. But this one, or do I want? Ugh. Uh, dun, 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 that way. Or that way. No, I actually like it this way better. So here again, I'm going to just have to do the bottom, come up a little bit to the top, but then glue the top of the envelope. I hope that's making sense because you don't want to glue it shut. You don't want to have glue where your opening is or you're going to actually end up gluing your envelope shut, which you don't want to do. Okay. So one more fiddly bit. We're almost done, guys, with part one. We're almost done. But I want to show it to you when it's done because I hope that this inspires you to try this. When I saw Carol's video, I was so inspired to do this. And I know as a YouTube maker, there's nothing that I like better than to get comments from people who said... I love this. I'm going to try this. You know, that you've inspired them to do something. Look what I did. I cut a little bit too close up here. See what I did right here? That that little piece isn't covered. How do I fix that? I fix it by doing that. Okay. That's what I do. No problem. And it's on the back inside cover, but... I still want to do a good job. Yeah, just like that. Okay. With this, this pattern of this piece of artwork here, you can kind of arm, um, not even tell anyway. But I've got to unstick myself from it because I've got so sticky now. Okay. All right, so we've got that. See, so here's my pocket again here. And then we just have this piece to go on here. 
And then I'm going to end this video. Um, yeah, so we are going, Mr. H and I are going to have a good afternoon. I need to maybe do a little bit of cleaning. Not a lot because I kind of tidied up before I had my company over last night. We, we ate like we had so much food and we ate and ate and ate and ate. But we also played cards, which was super fun. Okay. All right, let me do this. This. Like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, this turned out way more fun than I thought it would. Carol, thank you for this idea. Um, and thank you for letting us go with it and make it our own. Okay, I think I got that a little bit close. It's trying to bunch up a little bit, but that's not, that's okay. I'll let it dry before I try to fold it again. But anyway, so there's the cover. The two insides with the pockets and the back. And now, I don't know if you can hear, this is super strong now with the magazine. And this magazine paper is only, it's a little bit thicker than like fa fashion magazine, but it's not like the super thick paper. So it's easy to uh, glue on, you know, with just even a glue stick. Isn't this cool though? This is going to make such an awesome, this is going to be a little art journal, I think. This is going to have to be a little art journal. But I love it, and I hope you are inspired to do either make the ephemera packet. Like I said, you can put as many pockets on there as you want, um, or, or a cover like I did using the envelopes. But um, ch please check out Carol's channel. Like I said, I'll link it below. Um, and let me know if this is something that uh, you would want to give a try yourself. But I do urge you, if you can find anything, not this particular one, but any kind of art magazine, um, even if you don't like like what's on the cover, you know, look at what's inside because look, there's beautiful pictures that you can use, you know, in your artwork. And especially if you can get, can get them at a uh, library sale or something like that. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, I ask that you do. And until the next video, I hope you're all truly blessed. Bye-bye.